What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is an LED backlight TV strip found in most LED TVs. This is the most common thing that goes bad in an LED TV. I'm going to show you how to check it and replace these LEDs on the LED strip. Let's go ahead and put the red positive probe on the positive test pad and the black negative on the negative. It looks like these two right here are not working under a light load these first two but the rest are working so this circuit is working but not 100 percent these two LEDs right here have to be replaced and it looks like these eventually turn on under a heavy load so you can either replace the TV backlight LED strips altogether or replace each individual LED which is time consuming and but you know, least expensive solution. So right here I'm using Flux. It helps removing parts from a circuit board and also helps bonding parts to a circuit board. So I'm using a heat pad to liquefy the solder and then I'm just using tweezers and slightly pulling it off. I'm also using a heat gun to speed things up because I'm impatient. And you don't want to rip it off because you could tear off the heat pads. And then I'm using a desoldering tool to remove the excess solder. So you look underneath the bottom of the LED. One's a cathode, one's an anode. Cathode is the negative side. You want to put that toward the negative test pad. Alright. After you clean off the pads, and then you want to put some flux on there. That helps bond the solder to the LED. Right here I'm using tin lead rosin core solder wire. I'm slightly coating both sides of the pads and make sure you don't bridge the pads together obviously. That should be good right there and let's go ahead and remove it. Let it sit for a bit. Go ahead and test it. So this is the broken one as you can see. Let's go ahead and remove that. That's garbage. Now it's on there. Let's go ahead and test it out. See if it works. And with the diffuser you just basically glue that on using super glue. That's not a big deal. Here it is, the moment of truth. And it's working. So we replaced one LED out of many 